Hey, do you like anime? Yeah, you probably do. That's why you're here in this video. That's probably why you're seeing it. Cool. Do you need horrible misinformed love advice? Yeah, great. I'm, I'm, I got your back. Hey, it's Triple L. I'll be your narrator for this video. And we're just going to have a case study. We're going to see how to get the girl according to anime like fairy tale. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Gajil method. All right, cool. By the time this video is over, buddy, girl or guy, because I, I don't discriminate, you're going to know how to get the girl with this method. All right. Like I said, this is the Gajil method. This is what worked in Fairy Tale for one character, Gajil. You ready for this? Let's just get into it. Step one, and really the most critical step. If you're gonna fail anywhere, there's three spots, really. This is one of them. That said, if you can't do this step, then you've got no business here. So, okay, most critical step. You have to crucify the lucky lady. Now you might be saying like, whoa, trip. Uh, I can't do that. That's that's a bit too much. And I'm like, guy, are you here to play the game? Or sorry, guy or girl, are you here to play the game? Because look, if you manage to get past this step, everything becomes much easier. And hey, it's not like we're putting nails inside the girl's body, all right? We're not getting biblical up in this house, all right? No, you just you just need to like, all you need to do is spread her arms apart. Just like maybe get a couple of nails, get a couple of like metal bands and just, you know, just plaster her onto a tree and just you know just have it out there all right just you just gotta do that it's really easy you'll be able to do it and you know what after you you've done it you're gonna feel really good about yourself you're gonna feel like yeah i just showed them who's boss i just beat my anxiety of approaching a girl oh step 1b and the, the 1b because you don't really need to do this but it, it could help you know shift the odds in your favor if possible also crucify her friends. Now you might be thinking, okay, Trip, like, no, no, I, I, one person is too much, but like two other people, look, listen, well, look, don't worry. Once you've done it the first time, it will be so much easier the next time or the third time, or maybe the fourth or fifth if you're getting, if you're getting really like crucifixion happy. But hey, the good thing about doing this is that it opens up more opportunities for you. And you know, it, it shows that you can interact well with her friends, you know, because you're including her friends in activities that you want to do. On another note, the thing with involving her friends is that she won't realize that she's special, right? If you involve her friends, she has no reason to think that she is a special lady for any reason. And heck, maybe in the later steps, she may even start to really wonder why she wasn't the only one crucified. So really, you're putting in the effort, but you're getting a possible return here. Step two, paint her body while crucified. Buddy guy or girl. You've already overcome the ultimate barrier, okay? You crucified her to a tree, you sick f Just finish it off and paint her body, okay? Like, come on, you've already done worse. You can do this much. You might be thinking like, well, why Why should I do that? How is that gonna help me in any which way? It, you're overcoming barriers. See, if you do this now, you're probably not gonna feel scared later on. You're not gonna feel scared to approach her. You're not gonna feel scared to, you know, make like, funny comments because look you've already painted her body you just made a mark on her body you just violated her privacy believe me once you've done that chances are you can probably do everything else you want actually wait no 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 you cannot do everything else you want that's horrible advice that's even worse than everything else here no no but you look scratch that part the point is if you paint the body you probably won't be scared of her later on because at the very least like you could just draw um, some kind of really funny face on her stomach and then you could just be thinking of that face whenever you're about to get nervous when you're talking to her later okay great step three you need to get someone to come and beat you up see it's not just going to be the girl that's going to be suffering throughout this anyway this step is going to be kind of resource intensive because the big thing here is that for best results you want to have someone you can control because for this step you need a, a bit of precision in the movements right specifically you need to get beat up in front of this girl and then you have to not fight back that's pretty hard to do so what i recommend is you go on the craigslist right you make a post you say hey uh i need someone to come beat me up um in front of a girl and you know offer 30 bucks 
right? You'll be surprised what people are willing to do for 30 bucks. Heck, if you feel really cheap, go for five bucks. You know, let's see what happens. Try it for 10 days. If that doesn't work, all right, go back, put the bounty up to 30 and check in another 10 days, right? Ideally, you'll get a customer within the first hour of putting up that post. So let's assume you got it. We're going to call him Todd. He's going to be approaching you when you are on your way, leaving somewhere, but you have to make sure that you're leaving when the girl is in eye shot. All right. Uh, Todd's going to show up. He's going to beat you up. Now, see, if you did the previous step 1B, if you did 1B, this will be even better because then you got to kind of see if you can get her friends to also beat you up. And truthfully, they should want to beat you up given that you crucified them and defiled their friend. So, you know, with the paint. So if all goes well, what you will have occurring is that you have a bunch of guys who have a right to beat you up and Todd beating you up. Moving into step four, if you have been doing things correctly up until now, the lovely lady should be feeling like defending you. She's going to see that you're getting like destroyed by a bunch of guys or girls. I don't know who you picked on, but yeah, she's going to see that you're being destroyed and she's just going to be feeling compelled to just go up there. Now, here's the next critical part of step four. Step four is also relatively complex. All things involving Todd end up being relatively complex. So you'll find out Todd has some really creepy habits and that Todd's just really into beating people up. You also like notice that he's got some kind of weird thing going on in his pet. Okay, not the point. Um, anyway. She's going to go in to defend you and this is where you have to make sure you instruct Todd. When Todd sees that someone's going in to defend you and standing in front of you, you got to make sure that Todd knows to try and strike her. Now for best results, it'd be great if Todd has a taser, but if not, you know, no worries, just have him punch the girl. All you got to do is step in there and take the punch right to the face. That's it. Step four. Done. Step five. Once you've taken the punch and or taser to the face, walk away. Don't complain. Don't say anything. Go on to your day. Actually, if you want to say something, just say something about how awesome your day is going to be because you got to go do something. Friend, you have a life. Even if you don't have a life, you have to make the girl think you have a life. Just walk away. Step six. After waiting a few days and most likely healing your wounds, you're probably feeling better. So at step six, what you have to start doing, you got to start including yourself in her plans. Just like just storm in there, right? Just walk whenever she's like planning on doing something and her friends are like arguing about what's going on. Just walk in there and say like, yeah, you'll do it with her and just just go. Does it matter if anyone else complains at you? Just be like, no, I'll, I'll do this with you. Let's just let's just do this. All right. And remember, if she says no, I don't know. Well, you don't want to be too creepy here because you, you're already kind of pushing it with the crucifixion bit. Uh, so just exercise caution but uh do things calmly and rationally and uh when it's easy enough just storm in and just get your get your shit done step seven you know i really at step seven you just repeat what you've done before what you want to do in this stage is build familiarity and rapport with the lovely lady and truthfully this is one of the critical points this may be where you fail because, you know, at this point, you just got to kind of suss out how much hanging around is, is enough with this girl. Like, you don't want to be overly creepy. You don't want to be there too long. You don't want to linger for too long. You got to be short, sweet. But just, just linger in this step for a little while. Once you think you're ready to move on, then go for it. And with that, we go into step eight. You have to drown or at least pretend to. Now, if you're wondering, wait, how am I going to do this? How am I going to set it up so I can drown? Well, this is where you got to go back to previous contacts. Time to call up Todd. Todd's messed up, all right? For reasons that you cannot discern, he has collected the weirdest assortment of skills. Pay Todd 50 bucks and have Todd just make a giant ditch and fill it and flood it with water. Todd just saved the day. Now, if your Todd isn't as skilled as the ideal Todd, then don't worry. We'll just have to downgrade. Pretty simple. If you need to drown, just go to your local swimming pool. Invite the girl. Then yeah, then you can go and do your thing. Now, if you've done everything correctly up until now, when you go to drown, that girl is going to dive in to give you mouth to mouth, even though she really doesn't need to. Once this happens, you know you are in. All right. Like. Every other thing doesn't really matter, right? After this point, your horrible relationship, that's up to you to decide. 
Lucky you! Like, who? You see, you, you could do it after all. Heck, at this point, this girl's gonna be so into you that when you have to make career changes, chances are she's probably just gonna go with you. Heck, she might even try to get a, a similar job in your field. That's the power of the Gajil method. You do this, you get the step, you get a girl, you get a job, and maybe you have twins down in the future. Who knows? But hey, you got the girl. Anyway, that's been the Gajil method. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down below and let me know if this is a method that you're willing to try in your everyday life. Anyway, till the next time, see you later.